Greetings. Well, yes, look at that. Uh, recently picked up a whole bunch more CVH stuff from a, uh, a, a derby driver. Um, and it's it's pretty cool. Now, now I have every single version of all the 80s hats. Uh, so that would be all the first-gen escorts and uh, all the EXP zone 7s, all the first-gen Lynxes. So they're all just 1.6s, 1.9s, and they're all North American models. So uh, those of you watching outside of North America, uh, this stuff might not all apply to you. But if you choose to import one of these heads, there are a few things you'll want to know from this video. Um, but yeah, like I said, I got everything here. And we'll we'll just start going down the line. We'll start way down here with the Hemi heads. Um, this one is a... 1981 casting of 1.6 carb. Uh, they're, these ones have the smaller intake ports. Uh, moving down, we got another one, and this one has well, a worse, worse casting. Um, and they are two different castings, but they both are 81 to 82 1.6s. So they have that that normal intake port with the, uh, the 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 four ovals and then the center coolage coolant passage, and they both have hemispherical combustion chambers. So these two are more or less the same, um, aside from the the casting varying some. Over here we got a 1.9 carbureted motor. This one it has the same intake pattern. The casting is similar to the 1.6s, though the, these ones are bigger around. Now, I should say that I I don't have on this bench the 83 to 85 1.6 uh, head, but I, I do have them elsewhere. They're the same thing as this, just slightly bigger intake ports. You'll find those on the 1.6 high output, the 1.6 EFI. And then the 1.6 turbo is supposed to have even bigger, um, um, even even bigger ports, but I can't confirm nor deny that. A move, uh, and uh, like I said, this one's the 1.9 carbureted motor, same intake pattern, but the combustion chamber is different. This is the swirl type, so it's the the kidney bean shaped versus the full hemispherical which are completely round, as you can see. So these will have flat top pistons. Uh, sometimes they have a, the pistons will have a slight crown or trust in the center and valve reliefs on the side, whereas these are almost a full dome. Next one is a 1.9 EF high I output. Again, the same intake pattern. These have the about the biggest ports out of all these critters. And then uh, it's it's a hemispherical combustion chamber, so uh, th these heads do have the biggest combustion chamber. And then right next to it, I have a 1.9 EFI high output roller, and the ports vary just a tad bit from the non-roller. You can see that these come up a little bit on the top. All this one doesn't, uh, but combustion chamber. And the, and, and the ports overall are, are about the same between them. Then this one here is a 1.9 CFI. Well, this is where things get a little tricky, in North America anyways. So you can see way down here there's an additional coolant passage in addition to the center one, whereas all these don't have it. Now it's the same bolt pattern between these two styles. But yes, the big difference is that's that additional coolant passage. And then to have that additional coolant passage, each of the ports had to be scooted uh, towards the side a little bit. So, so if I get the camera down low, you can kind of see that they are indeed offset. And so you can bolt up uh, this intake to that and this intake to that, but you'll have issues with this coolant passage on uh, when you go to interchange them. Some people make uh, adapter plates that 
covers this off but adapts the, uh, the normal intake pattern to work on this. And then some people do do a, a plate for the other way around and both of those work fine. Over here is another one, 1.9 EF high, uh, or, sorry, 1.9 CFI. And the port casting is about the same. Um, even those, these have a thicker uh, cast casting mark on them. These have the more aggressive uh, casting. I noticed with some of these, some of them have a real smooth casting, others are pretty pretty coarse. But you know, between these two, they're the same. But uh, you gotta remember that with these CFIs, these have the lean burn heads, or lean burn combustion chambers. So these are, are the, uh, the other kidney shaped. I believe these, they sometimes call them uh, a heart shaped. So we have our harp shaped, we have our hemis, and then we have our lean burn. And these two will have uh, flat dome pistons. Sometimes they, they, like I said, they they have a little bit of a, a crown in the center, but they also have uh, valve reliefs cut into the edges of the piston. But this is more or less all the differences between them. The, there's, a, there's a few other things. Like, for, for instance, all the 1.6 camshafts, they taper um, from this side down, or I'm sorry, from this side down to here, they taper. So, oh, I did have that right. Sorry. The, without this cam sprocket on, it's, it's hard to remember that this one's oriented like all the others. But I was right in the first place. It, uh, the, crank sh the camshaft journals taper from the pulley side uh, down so uh, down here at the distributor the journals are bigger and as you get further in they get a little smaller and smaller it's not like that on the 1.9s all the cam journals are the same along all those so you can't interchange the two cams without uh, mach uh, machining your head what you'd have to do is uh, uh, bore out the cam journals and then insert bearings or you can you can uh, machine the journals of your camshafts. That's an option. Uh, aside from that, there there isn't really any difference between these. They all have the same coolant passages uh, on the on the deck side, and they all have the same bolt holes. Uh, not, nothing else really really changes between t these. The uh, 1.9s they all do have a slightly smaller exhaust port. And the one, the ones on the 1.6s are huge. And then lastly, the 1.9s all have a different sized thermostat housing. It'll take me a lot of work to work work those out, uh, so you can see it. But I can grab a couple. You can see that one is metal and one's aluminum. These aluminum ones are from the 1.6s, and these steel ones are from the 1.9s. And I can't remember which, but one of these two thermostats is bigger around. But uh, the heads have a bigger casting for, for one engine than the other. I can't remember which. I'll put that in the description. And then I will also include the valve sizes in, in all the descriptions and the port sizes in, all, in the description, as well as the combustion chamber shape for you. Uh, which years had roller cams, which one di didn't, will be in the description. And then lastly, we'll have combustion chamber volume in the description. So we'll, we'll stop here. All right, we'll let you see the collection first before we go. Sorry, the camera is shaky. It's kind of pulled out, and I'm holding the phone sideways so you can see it upright. Hopefully it doesn't make you nauseous. <laughs> 